You scraped, you scraped by that. Uh, like you said, without the skill points allocated, it can be tough. Yeah, let's maybe put some skills. Yeah, exactly. Let's let's show the character screen after you get the swag from the guards. Of course, most important currency of the game. Your, your mic is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna help you let, out. Let me fix yeah, it. Yeah, there you go. We want to hear that. We want to hear that beautiful <laughs> voice. Exactly. Wugish, we want to hear you. Okay. So, yeah, let, I'll give you an opportunity. Yeah, let's go through the skill because I I think the skill the skill system in this game is way way better than it has been in Witcher One and Two. It's a huge improvement. One of the biggest mechanical improvements in the game. So yeah, definitely walk walk us through it. Which uh, tree did you use while doing a review? Um, I was very sign focused because I'm, I'm a big fan of magic <laughs> in games, and uh, magic signs have always been kind of like to me one of the weaker parts of of The Witcher. It's always been like I wanted to use them a lot, but it didn't seem like a a huge payoff. But I felt the totally opposite way in in Witcher Three. Was I felt it more like, defensive or more uh, aggressive. Um, more can... more defensive. Like Quen to me, Quen is like huge. It's just such, uh -huh. especially when you get. Uh, it upgraded all the way. Well upgraded, it's really useful. Well, let's go that way. Or so let's talk it through. Yeah, Maybe let's let's thing. talk about the system. What I really dig about it. Sorry to uh, steal the word from you. Is that uh, after you've spent uh, some skill points in uh, your skills, uh, it's not over. So you can still recustomize uh, what you can do in the game. So mm -hmm. of course, uh, with every uh, level up you get or every place of power you visit, you get a skill point that you can invest in various uh, skills or abilities, like. Uh, combat moves, signs, alchemy, and general skills. And uh, the things you end up with, you can sort out. Uh, on the middle of the screen, you can see some empty slots. And you can have, based on your level, uh, several of them active. And uh, this will give you an opportunity to cus customize your, uh, your character for the upcoming challenge. Because, again, preparation is still uh, an essential part of the game. Right. And uh, the most important thing is that uh, you will get a lot of skill points throughout the game. But you cannot achieve a state where you are good in everything. You will you will get to a point where you're pretty good at something you, you wanted to focus your character on. Uh, so it's like a really important choice uh, uh, system, choice and consequence system to pay attention to, to what uh, you invest your points into. Yeah, the slot system I feel like is really what handles that the most, right? Because it doesn't matter how many skills, it doesn't matter how many points you put into each of these skills and how powerful each of those skills become. You're only ever going to have uh, tw uh, 12 total slots, at skills most, you can exactly. slot. So you can't... You know, even if you max out, I mean, I don't think you could, even, you couldn't do it mathematically, but even if you maxed out, like, 15 skills, which you can't, like, even if you did, you can't even slot them all. So exactly. you have to pick that's, and choose. That's part of the game and, and being prepared, for example, uh, you're building a melee uh, build, and then you need to think how, how to compensate the lack of stamina regeneration, which you get from a science tree. Yeah. Uh, so there's there are synergies, for example, gear, uh, runes that you have to take in, into consideration. Plus, you have to find those items, you have to craft them. So it's besides uh, being complex, you have to think about other things as well. Like there's and, and then there's the mutagens, right? Yeah. Um, exactly. And that, and that to me is a really to huge thing. Exactly. Because now, um, you know, each mutagen has its own little bonus, like 5% attack power, mm -hmm. 50%, uh, 50 extra vitality, um, it's sign intensity for the blue ones. But the idea is that once you, those go in the triangle, in the, I'm sorry, the, in the um, diamond uh, shaped uh, slots, and then for every matching uh, color skill you have slotted in that quadrant, it, uh, it multiplies, it amplifies that bonus. So if you, it kind of, is, I like it because it's a really a reward for specialization. You know, like you really uh, in a lot of games, it's all about flexibility. But the person who decides to focus on one thing kind of gets shafted. Mm -hmm. um, but what I like in this system is that if you have, say, like I was really heavy into signs, so I would have a uh, a ten percent sign intensity uh, mutagen, and then I'd have that in three different slots, each of them fully slotted with three uh, blue skills each, and my signs were just bonkers like they just became so overwhelmingly powerful but that was at the expense of having literally no other skills in any other school and spending a lot of time searching for places of power that yep. gives you uh, additional points as you can see we i got around 101 points but we just found them before so it's not that easy to collect them yeah uh it's a really cool system it rewards uh specialization and making uh kind of permanent decisions but it's also flexible um you can build Geralt out a lot of different ways exactly um, 
because uh, I heard some comments that some people were worried, like new to the Witcher lore and everything, that Geralt seems like a very pre-made character with a lot of characteristics. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, they were worried, like, how much freedom are they actually going to get sure. when uh, customizing skills? But as you can see, there is plenty of opportunity to create uh, a character focusing you know, on uh, combat, uh, science, which is basically our uh, kind of magic or, or alchemy and crafting. So there is a lot of uh, opportunities uh, to try out your uh, individual uh, uh, notions uh, to apply on Geralt. I've got another uh, another cool question also from uh, Arkham Inmate25. Thanks for the good questions, man. Um, once though, can you kill or fight anyone you want at any time? And I know the answer to this question, but I'd love to hear you guys answer because I think it's very important. Uh, there is a certain limit to it. Uh, of course, you cannot kill everyone because uh, we, we wanted to maintain a, an atmosphere to certain locations. Uh, but uh, Whenever you see a worthy enemy, you will be able to fight them. Yeah, I think it's, uh, and just like to kind of piggyback on that, I like how the ways in which you guys limit that, because I, I get it, people think it's fun, they think it's cool, it's an expression of freedom, I guess, but at the end of the day, killing every person in a village, there's no meaningful way to advance forward from that story-wise or gameplay-wise to me. Like, that's just not interesting. Mm -hmm. You know, exactly. the state of that it puts puts the world in is not interesting. So I'm glad you guys... There's so much freedom in this game. There's so much you can go out and explore and do and find. But it's not the Wild West. Like, you can't just destroy whatever exactly. you want. And well, there's going to be plenty of other opportunities to uh, see the consequences uh, of your choices. So you, right. you will not feel cheated because of this.